Hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Uh, I've been hearing that some people missed the previous episode somehow. It's uh, If you haven't seen episode 36, Eternal Life, that comes before this one. So, you know, make sure you've seen that because I'm about to spoil the ending. So anyway, last time we had a normal run. We defeated the Purist run, kind of against all odds, after coming back from the dead as Blue Baby, which was pretty crazy. Um, and then after that... I did my uh, collaborative speedrun project with Zen from Zen and Cyrene. I definitely recommend you check that out if you haven't already. It's probably the video I'm most proud of on my entire channel. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, so anyway, now we're done with uh, all the challenges. We're done with beating the game with all the characters. Now we have to get all the items. And I've heard there's actually a secret that I have not found yet. And that involves getting three of Guppy's items in the same playthrough, so the paw, the tail, the uh, the nine lives, and there's one other one I think. So we're on the lookout for those constantly. I don't really like poison bombs. We'll get infestation instead, that's fine, that will give us some mulligan flies every time we get attacked, which is great. So anyway, um, this is kind of a miracle episode, <laughs> I'm really glad it's going to get pushed out in time, because um, I had kind of a scare last night. What happened was, I had made it so I had no backlog, so that I wouldn't spoil anything by posting the uh, the collaboration out of sequence. Like, we were going to record that on Saturday night, and I was like, okay, I'll make just enough videos to get me through um, Sunday, and then I'll just, you know, figure in the the uh, collaboration there and everything will be all good but then I was at the lake with my dad for Father's Day and I had a sandwich and I was kinda talking while I was eating not really paying attention to it bit into the sandwich and ended up getting stung on the tongue by a yellow jacket which if you don't have those in your area or you call them something else they're like mini wasps kinda like bee reskins <laughs> they, uh, they sting, they bite, they eat meat and they're pretty miserable creatures to get bitten by, especially somewhere like the tongue, so that was really horrible, and I spent the rest of the day just sucking on ice cubes. I was surprised I even managed to get to sleep, because every time I spent more than like 30 seconds without an ice cube in my mouth, my tongue started to hurt really badly, and I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to record these videos. I was planning on Sunday night doing a recording session, and uh, that obviously did not happen. I just kind of took some Benadryl and passed out, but I woke up, tongue is fine today, so... That's really good. So here I am making a video. This is actually probably the closest I've been to in sync with when the videos are actually going up in a long time. This is probably between 7 and 10 hours before this episode will be online. So hello people just barely in the future from me. How are you doing? Anyway, I guess I should comment on the run a little bit. We did get cube of meat from Famine, which is unrerollable. And, uh, feeling okay about my chances so far. I'm in an interesting posi position of not having to care too much whether I win or lose. Um, because, you know, I've already beaten the game with Isaac, obviously. There's nothing I'm going to unlock by winning. I just have to find those Guppies items. So if I find, like, nine lives or something, I'm obviously going to go for it. Excuse me. Obviously going to go for it, even though, uh... Speed up! Oh, that's good even though it could easily cost me the run, because it's more important to me to get the, all those secrets unlocked so we can start filling out the item collection. Not that I won't try to win, I'll try my best every time to win, because I think that makes for a more entertaining product than me just trying to like grind my way through unlocks. This is gonna suck. Because <laughs> you have to hit it so many times before it stops spawning spiders. There we go. Can't believe I got out of that one without taking damage. I thought it was pretty inevitable. Dropped a dime? Wow. That's pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get to the shop fairly soon. Or uh, get to enough money for the shop, I should say. Two more cents for that. Uh, what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, I think it's more entertaining to try to win every time, but uh, that won't be the focus anymore. It's no longer going to be a crushing loss. Basically, it's just, you know, if I lose, then I embarrass myself for the internet. If I win, I gain some e but... In the end, I'm still trying to impress people on the internet either way, so how much do I really have to lose? Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll keep an eye out for those guppy items. What the hell? 
Did you see that? He's phased through the poop so that he could explode on me. I don't agree with that. Let's hop in here and see what it is. Oh, great. Cool, I won't re-roll that. So now everything in the shop in the future will be on sale, which is an amazing pickup for the seller part too. That will hopefully get us a lot more shop items than we normally would have gotten. There's, I still maintain there's no way out of this room. That's, that's like the fifth time I've gotten in every single time I just get, take damage instantly. There's no place to go. Technology 2, definitely not a reroll. Uh, D6 not doing too much work so far. But I did get the... Uh, uh, the infestation out of it, but that's the only thing I've gotten out of a reroll so far. Technology 2 is not so great so far, because it's still a fairly weak laser, but if you can get your damage up, it's pretty amazing. Like, uh, remember that one run, where I had, like, tears the size of Isaac's body and Technology 2? That was good stuff. Just anything that walked into the laser died instantly, so hopefully we'll have a run like that. That would be kind of fun. But, even more hopefully, we'll get some cat items. I'm looking for a deal with the devil, but with the amount of times I've been hit on, hit on this floor, well, never mind, I'll definitely pick up the pentagram for a little bit more damage. What, what do you got, Satan? Ah, oh, come on, for once I was hoping for dead cat. <laughs> but, I guess not this time. I don't really want either of those, especially- Oh, I should've re-rolled it! What was I doing? What an idiot. Alright. I've kind of gotten out of, like, D6 practice. It used to be, like, every time I played, I would use Isaac. But, you know, I've been working on getting all the other characters done, so I haven't been playing D6 very much, so I'm just forgetting to use it, which is not good. Ah, I could have gotten cat items there. Oh well. Hopefully we'll get another devil room soon enough. I seriously got hit by that? I was sure I was out of the way. Whatever. some of these assholes. Ah. <laughs> so, how have you guys been? I don't know, I'm running out of things to commentate on. So, uh, we're on the base, the caves XL here, so we'll only get one shop on this floor, unfortunately. And only one chance for a deal with the devil as well. So that, yeah, that's just all around kind of crappy for us, but we'll make do. We do get two item rooms here, so we'll definitely try to get to both of those. Need some more keys. Hopefully those will pop up soon. I only have one right now. Uh, got the super, super gish. Uh, uh. Cube of meat saved me from taking some stupid damage there. There's another key. Ah, uh, tears and damage up. I'm gonna roll it. Hey, the wafer. That was a really good roll. The wafer, if we do get into the womb in the cathedral, that will have all of the damage we take there. Which is absolutely incredible. And it also, it makes anything that would have done one heart to you, do uh, half of a heart instead. For real. I just walked on those spikes. I haven't done that in a really long time. Let's head into our one shop here. Fight greed, which sucks. So we basically just got two shops stolen from us here in quick su succession after buying the steam sale. That's, yeah, that's really crappy actually. We did get a little bit of money out of there, though not nearly as much as you would normally hope for from greed. It's kind of a stingy greed, which I guess isn't that surprising given his namesake, but... Technology 2, great on Larry Jr. Better than Manny's. Weird joke, I apologize. Let's get to this chest and scent, hopefully get some keys out of there. No, nope, just a pill, which is... Speed down, <laughs> come on! I just gotta speed up, it was so exciting. Alright, so back to base speed, back to uh, being unable to dodge many things that we'll run into on the next floor. That'll be either Depths or Necropolis, and you're really supposed to have speed by then. So, unfortunate turn of events there. What have we got in here? Chemical peel, I'll take it. I'll give us some damage up. go. Definitely don't want anything to do with that locked chest, because I don't have any keys. Use some more keys soon. 
I like technology too. There have been people saying it got nerfed and it's not good anymore. And it did get nerfed, but it's still, I think, a really good item. The piercing tiers are really important. Oh, that was stupid. But having something that goes through enemies is really useful for rooms where you need a lot of crowd control. That was weird. I was like stuck against the uh, the floor there, going half the normal speed. It's not like I was holding the down button or anything. I just couldn't move very quickly. Not sure what that was about. So let's head up all the way around this way, because I do want to cover all my bases, make sure I explore everything, because every room is an opportunity to get one of those cat-related items. And I'd like to get that unlock as soon as possible, obviously, because we're down to the wire here. I think I'll, I only have uh, nine more items to find. So the quicker I get all of those like possible to find, the better, because then I can start actually finding them in runs. What do we got here? Key, cool. Can use that on the next floor to great effect. Taking some really stupid damage this run, which is voting poorly for my chances. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. The damage I took in this room was unavoidable because my uh, my damage was too low to take out those silkworms and of course they're uh, they had me in a corner so it's not like I can get out of the way. Hopefully we'll find some hearts soon. This is really this took a dark turn really quickly here. Really? What even hit me? I didn't see anything to get hit by there. Ah, let's replay that. I'm not sure what happened on that run. That was terrible. Uh, luck foot, I will reroll. Not one of my favorites. The relic is... Yeah, absolutely one of my very favorite items. Certainly my favorite non-offensive item, I would say. So that's going to produce us a spirit heart once every five rooms, four rooms, something like that. Which is really, really good. That's a free hit every two rooms. From a normal enemy, that is. Yo, what's that pill? Friends till the end, that works for me. We got over this way. Bomb, cool. Yeah, let's look for the secret room, even though that's... Ah! You are not my friends anymore. I can't believe that shit. I hate it so much that Friends to the End can ruin your bombs like that. There's no reason for that. What a waste. One of my two bombs on the basement part one gone to what is essentially the worst game design in the world. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I love Binding of Isaac, but man, that is complete bullshit that Friends to the End can pull your bombs around. Well, we got Pin here. Pin's a crazy easy boss. And luckily, he also killed all of our suicide flies, so they don't have the opportunity to fuck me over in the future. What we got here? Cheers up, I'll take it. It's kind of. It makes me nervous re rolling boss drops now, because you can get something like a. Uh, pageant boy or a box, and I'd rather have a tears up than either of those. Maybe I should have rerolled it. I don't know. Still no keys. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem too much longer, because we are still on a very small basement floor, and if we don't get any keys by the end, then we're not going to be able to go to the item room, and if we don't go to the item room on the second floor, then the run is severely gimped right from the start which is always an annoying thing to experience. Here's our Spirit Heart from the Relic, the first of many. Hopefully we get a key out of this room. Because I'd really like to start using my D6 to roll early rather than late. Come on. What do we got here? Balls of steel, I'll take it. What we got in here? 
bombs and these assholes. Oh, I better not try to plant any bombs now until these guys kill themselves. There's a penny. And, oh god. The worst, the worst hopper room. Can't shoot the fire, but the hoppers can jump into the fire. Don't do it! Stay, you don't want to burn yourself, man. Okay. There's another bomb for us. Not really worth looking for the secret room at this point, because there are three possible locations, only two bombs, and of course, possible location doesn't even mean all that much anymore, because the secret room can still be wherever the fuck it wants anyway. <sighs> don't have a key to go into the item room, which is a huge piss off for the second floor. Really gonna, yeah, like I said earlier, gimp this run. Whatever. Little jump in the video there, had to sort out a dog fight. Don't remember what I was talking about. Anyway, monster is super easy. Lost the item room, what do we got here? Let's see what the devil has first. Brimstone is broken, bloodlust is terrible. Quarter and money equals power. Um, for two hearts each, that's not a good enough deal to take. We do have to take the coin purse now, which sucks. For him still the end. I guess I'll take it. Bad gas. Bottle of steel is nice, we'll hold on to bad gas, I suppose. Could be vaguely useful in the future. No reason to do anything else on that floor, so total waste of a second floor. Got essentially nothing out of it at all. Which, second floor is supposed to be one of your basically a freebie, so to get nothing is pretty terrible. Got here. Key, finally. So we'll be able to go into the item room on this floor at least. Don't want to open that. This is not the triumphant return from the purist I had, was hoping for. Some pretty subpar runs going on here, but we'll see what happens. We do have the relic. Tirelessly providing me with extra health. That's what I was hoping for. Secret room as well as chest. What do we got in here? Unicorn horn. I want to re-roll that. But my d6 is not charged, so it'll cost me another bomb to go in there and re-roll it. Which is pretty crappy. Last run that I got the steam sale, right? Not this one. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? Let's go roll the unicorn horn with my very last bomb. That was worth it, I think. <laughs> Alright, suddenly this run is looking a lot better. Epic Fetus is obviously going to make this run basically a shoe in. Let's see what this little asshole has for us. Hopefully something, but I have enough spirit hearts that I feel comfortable giving him all of my health. Wow. What an asshole. So at this point we'll definitely be looking for the secret secret room, which could be basically anywhere. Uh, oh yeah, I can get to that health in fact. And we'll pump it right back into this guy. Demon Baby Judgment, don't burn me here. That's four hearts. Four entire hearts and he hasn't paid out. That's absurd. He really needs his rate of payouts to go up substantially if he's going to be a worthwhile item usually. What do we got in here? Ghost Baby? I want to reroll that. Because I don't feel like the shooting followers work very well at all with Epic Fetus because you're not really holding the button down a lot of the time. Oh, that was close. Kind of. It was at least terrifying. I've been getting Epic Fetus a lot lately. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about that. But it's interesting. So let's see what we can roll in here from Ghost Baby. Hopefully something new. Or a cat item. Uh, that's not going to do anything with uh, Epic Fetus. So we're going to roll that again.
flooding you shouldn't be a problem. Did I really walk into that shot? Come on. Wow, two spirit hearts out of gluttony is nothing to sneeze at. Oh yeah, you can't bomb your way out of uh, mini boss rooms. Where is the secret secret room? Because it could be anywhere along the top here. Hey, there it is. Fortune teller. Yeah, I'll use it. I need a trinket. Come on. Cursed Skull. It's probably the worst trinket in the world. So I can't imagine a situation where I would be glad I had Cursed Skull. Well, I can, but <clears throat> incredibly rarely. High Priestess is definitely better than Bad Gas. We got here, Death. Arguably better than High Priestess. I don't know, we'll use one on the boss, and then come back. There's our trinket. The Liberty Cap is nice. Yeah, that's, that's about enough for now. Blow it up. A little bit more money. As well as a bomb, which isn't really important. We use the High Priestess on this card, on this boss, and then take the Death card in to the next floor. Let's hit this guy another few times. Two of Hearts. Uh, oh, wow! That's good. Alright. I kind of want to save Two of Hearts until, uh... Oh, do we have to... What's in here? I think I might just have to take this item. I don't think we're going to be able to charge it. Yeah, well, Bloodlust is not going to do anything at all. I might as well take it. So anyway, yeah, if I get another heart and a half, I can use two of hearts to uh, boost my health. Let's fight the boss now. Being able to fly is a huge pickup from that uh, Demon Baby Judgment, even though he did really burn me for hearts. I can't believe how many times I had to play him. Shit's crazy. Ah, come on! I homed in on me. Are you kidding me? Okay. I was about to get hit again when I killed Peep. That's why I said, are you kidding me? Uh, let's just pop two of hearts. Throw that up. Grab the High Priestess. We'll just hold on to that. I don't really feel like going back for the Death Guard. They're both good. Head onward here. Still nothing new. Still no cat items. So, in that respect, this run has been a failure. But it, as far as winning, I'm pretty sure that I have a solid chance here. There's another heart for us. The Empress will give us the curse for a room. That doesn't really do anything with uh, Epic Fetus, like most effects, it seems. Every time I get Epic Fetus, it's just a parade of, well, that won't do anything for me. But it's good enough on its own, that doesn't really matter. The moon will take us to the secret room, why not? Save me some looking. There's enough money for the shop. I grab my card again. Not to be confused with the cardigan, I don't wear cardigans. There we go. Oh come on, you didn't pop up. Why is party's over here, man? There we go. Another half heart. Finally filling back up from that stupid demon baby judgment. Let's definitely pump some money into this guy. Wow, one cent for technology? I absolutely should have rerolled that. I didn't even mean to pick it up. I was just kind of looking. Uh, yeah, technology's not going to do anything for us. <laughs> Whoops. Um, reroll both of those. Two anarchist cookbook. Wow, what a deal. Uh, we know now that the item room is over this way. The boss room is in the bottom left. And the shop is like top left. I can't believe I didn't reroll technology. What is wrong with me? I'm just kind of spacing out during this playthrough. Oh. See that dodge. It's terrible. Oh, we already know where that secret room is. Looking for the other one. Well, at least now I make like a pew sound every time I hit my epic fetus. I mean, that's kind of fun. Hey, that's new. Daddy long legs. Daddy's love. Got shot by the stupid fucking fire while I picked it up. No way out of that because 
Of course, when you're holding an item above your head, you have no opportunity to, you know, not do that. Daddy, I, I need you to not stomp on that guy while he's down. It makes him a huge pain in the ass to get back. Alright, so there's one new item out of nine. There's another couple keys, which were much needed. What have we got in here? Steam sale? I'll take it. That will make future shops cheaper, of which there will be two. Might not have been worthwhile buying it, now that I think about it. Might have been better to just, uh... You know. <laughs> Reroll. Looking for the secret, secret room. Not there, apparently. What about over here? Nope. I will play this but Blood Bank, because again, leaving off Spirit Hearts thanks to the Relic, so no reason not to. Good as a ton of money. Looks like money equals power might have been a wise pickup, though I don't think I would have gotten uh, the flying payout from Demon Baby Judgment without those two hearts. Come on. Come on. See if we have any more hearts at the end of this. Looking for the sea room, as per usual. Not in any of those places, huh? Where haven't I looked? It's down here? No, I haven't looked down there. There it is. An eternal heart, that's nice. That'll give us another heart container at the end of this floor. And uh, let's hang on to our D6 charge. We could roll the library again if we wanted to, or we can roll whatever the boss drops for us. Or maybe a deal with the devil room. We'll have to see. Another heart. Security shouldn't be a threat, really. Oh, fuck me. Unless I bomb myself. Sit on this rock. No problem. Only a half a heart from that boss fight. Let's see what the devil has for us. Uh, Sacred Heart does nothing with Epic Fetus, unfortunately, because it's one of my favorites. Have to take the Miter. We're not going to have another shot at that. I feel blessed that presumably, yeah, ranged tears and damage up is totally useless, so I was kind of hoping to roll that, but whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. Going back to the machine. Um. But the miter presumably gives us extra spirit heart drops, at least according to the wiki. And will also um, give us a chance of getting item rooms on the womb, which is nice, I suppose, if we run into them. What we got here? Oh, it took my eternal heart! Why would it be programmed like that? <sighs> that really sucks. Alright. And with a significant amount of anger, let's move on to the next floor. That was incredibly shitty. Oh well. It's not like I really needed the heart container anyway, but it would be, would have been nice to have. It's a nice free drop from that boss. Or no, from that room that I spent forever looking for. Daddy long legs. Really, I haven't talked about it much, because there, there's been other stuff going on, but I'm really impressed with this item. Look at this. Yeah! <laughs> Just taking stuff out. That's that's a cool item. I, I think I remember getting an achievement that unlocked that fairly recently. Okay, we're going to have to go everywhere on this map. That's annoying. Absolute top left and absolute bottom right are item rooms. There's our spirit heart from the relic. I'm gonna take a little drink. I'm realizing after having talked from, for this long that I think my tongue is still a little bit swollen and sore. That's making my commentary maybe a little bit more lispy than it usually is, unfortunately. Hopefully that's not a huge deal for you guys. Are you kidding me? 
greed after getting the steam sale is always the worst. Oh, yeah, that's the last shop. Okay, so the steam sale I bought, totally useless. Never gonna have an opportunity to actually buy something from the shop. Because that would make things way too easy. Not that I can complain too much, but it would have been nice to have the opportunity to find some of the new items that I'm still looking for. There's another spirit heart for us. Fistula, my old arch nemesis. Wow, I'm pulling off some amazing dodges here by the skin of my teeth. I could really, really use a speed upgrade. Like I always say whenever I get to the depths at base speed. I'm not supposed to be in the depths at base speed. That's not how the game is designed. And it really fucks over your chances of like pulling off dodges effectively. There's another heart. What we got in here? Uh no. No. <laughs> Neither of those are gonna do anything at all with Epic Fetus, so we'll have to hold out for some items that will actually have an effect for us. At least if we're gonna be picky like I intend to be. So let's head down to the other item room. Wow, that was easy. That was way easier than that room usually is. I don't want the tick. I'd rather have the opportunity. If I find the Polaroid, I'm gonna try to take that to Isaac again and see if that does anything. Or not Isaac anymore, I guess. Blue Baby. What we got in here? Uh, speed up. Yes, please. Shot speed up is not gonna do anything for us, but the speed alone is absolutely worth it. It's gonna, if anything, if nothing else, make this run a lot less torturous for me. Let's head up here, and you know, I, I am fully willing to clear out the depths part or uh, the depths XL to get enough rolls to make this into something useful. Because you know, every time I roll it, there's a chance of getting a new item as well which is always great let's go ahead and flesh out the path to the boss before anything else and then we can just start taking out whatever her charges lots of stuff in that room that was cool boss route is gonna be weird for an XL floor usually it's just like a big rectangle yeah, you guys stood no chance, I'm sorry. Similarly. Oop. Just bomb your way out of this room because I uh, got a full charge on my D6. So no reason to waste a charge there. Hopefully we'll get something new out of this item room. That would be nice. we got here. Nope. Does nothing with Epic Fetus like every single other item I have gotten out of that room. What a pain. Let's fly all the way back across the level again. I'm trying to be thorough here. Especially important when I items are involved because you know being thorough now could be the difference between having to do a whole extra run or series of runs to try to get the item that I could get right now. Come on. Go. One more room. What do we got over here? Yeah, why not? Temperance spawns a blood bank for us. Eh, might as well. I think I'm just gonna blow it up though. Cool. Spirit Heart. Cancer is normally pretty good, but uh, not compared to. Come on. <laughs> not compared to the Liberty Cap when we're talking about Epic Fetus. 
Yeah, you know what? This is too annoying with all these trinkets around. I'm not gonna deal with that. Because I don't really need to right now. So we got down here. No thank you. Did I leave a heart here? Whoa, where did that come from? Weird. Let's just hit this room. Shelf shouldn't really be a problem right now. Sorry, man. Let's head back over to the... Oops. Head back over to the item room, see what we can get out of that. Hopefully something great. Please. Please. <laughs> Or at least something new. It doesn't have to be great, it just has to be a new item. Hey, that's new. Best friend. I've actually seen this before. It uh, spawns that thing, which turns into a bomb when it takes damage or after a certain amount of time. Not that great, I gotta say. It, uh, it acts like an Isaac, so enemies try to attack it, and then they'll group around it, and then you can blow them all up. It's alright, but I'd much rather have the D6 for the next floor. Uh, speaking of which, I should definitely make sure to have a roll ready for Mom, but first we'll fight this first boss. Monster 2. No big deal. Why are you not lasering? There we go. Take me out, your monster. Oh, did I blow him into myself? That was amazing. Well, I'll take an HP up, sure. Let's head on here. Doesn't look like we're gonna have a chance for a deal with the Devil Room because, again, XL floors really cheat you out of a lot of opportunities that you would have otherwise been entitled to. There's our two charges on the D6, so we're ready to reroll Mom's Drop if we want to. Let's head back, fight Mom. Have to remember not to use High Priestess on her, because when you use High Priestess in the Mom fight, she stomps on you instead of herself. Daddy Longlegs will help us out here. Uh, presumably, anyway. Did Daddy Longlegs like, go away? Where'd he go? I seriously got hit by the foot? Uh, shot speed plus does nothing. Tears up also does nothing, but we have to take it at this point. The Empress does nothing. <laughs> Noticing a pattern here. So, fairly a waste of uh, good resources there. There's our secret room. I've been forgetting to look for those. Tons of money I don't need. I was about to say good thing. Good thing I didn't, or uh, not good thing, but too bad I didn't take uh, the uh, money equals. What the fuck happened there? Money equals power, but uh, I don't think epic fetus really s scales with damage at all. So it would be pointless anyway. Uh, that spawns flies every time we get hit. That's fine. I'll take it. Ah! God damn it. God damn it. That was a stupid room. As far as the way I handled it. Uh... Reroll that for sure. What is the martyr? I guess I'll take it. It's a damage up. I don't think it does anything. Uh, we have to walk all the way back? Come on. I've got things to do. You know what, I should hold on to the Liberty Cab actually, because it gives me the compass in some rooms. And that's really useful on the womb. So we'll leave Infestation there. This is new. This is Daddy Longlegs. Oh no! Uh, how am I supposed to... There we go. A lot of my shots were like randomly missing him, it seems. Like, traveling straight through his head. Oh, come on. Alright. Get that. Too bad. Oh, right, of course. It's the angel room I was just in. And 
there's our compass. Let's see, it looks like boss room is gonna be this way and then down. Go. So at this point, this run is pretty much a bust as far as looking for cat items. There's no way we're gonna find any at this point, or at least not three of them, for sure. Unfortunately, it seems like they always pop up when I don't want them. Uh, the chariot gives us the unicorn horn effect for a room. I'd rather just stomp on Isaac. Tears down is not gonna do anything. Not really sure why I decided to open that chest. I was kind of in the middle of a diatribe and didn't really think about it. Already taken plenty of damage in this room to make it a bad idea. <sighs> chub. Not a little chub. Big chub. Come on, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna have to find the boss room. I already knew what that was. Not sure why I picked it up. The boss room is not this way? Wow, that sucks. This is gonna be an amazingly long journey to the boss room. Already a marathon level run here. 40, 40 some odd minutes. Keep I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you didn't ask for this. There we go. Oh. How, how did that spirit heart end up there without me somehow walking on it? I was right there. Oh well. Got it now, luckily. What was the new item we got? Oh, of course, Daddy Long Legs. So we did get that, at the very least. Uh, the world. You know what? I will hang on to that. I'm going to use the High Priestess on the boss here. As we already know, we're very, very close to that. And then, uh, bring the world onto the next floor. Probably deal that floor immediately. Maybe wait until the cathedral. Yeah, it would, be, it would be better to wait until the cathedral, so I'll try to hold on to it until then. What do we got here? Oh, of course. That would do tons of damage with uh, Mom's foot. Epic Fetus is going to make this no problem whatsoever. Already shooting bombs. Yeah. It's over, guys. Grab that last heart to get to full health, which hasn't happened in a long time. Let's head back here, grab our card quickly. Not Wheel of Fortune. Balls of Steel, wow. Glad I used that. That was essentially a uh, Hierophant card, which is nice. And on to the Cathedral. I am really expecting not to have any problems here. Oh, there's Daddy Longlegs again. I don't really feel like fighting you. I'm kind of an asshole. And also, I know exactly where I'm going. Nope. Again. I'm totally fine without fighting that room. See you assholes later. I just have to kill these guys, which shouldn't be too hard at all. Gonna take some stupid damage. No big deal. Let's head on to the boss fight. And uh, this guy should be pretty screwed, I would say. Sorry, Blue Baby. It really helped me out in my purest run, but uh, everybody dies someday. Uh, sit here, my patented stay in the corner like a pussy technique. Doing some serious work here. 
some perfectly aimed Dr. Fetuses to take out the Angels as well as Blue Baby himself. And that's the end of that run. A successful run by some measures, a complete failure by others. Let's look at our, uh, not our options, but our collection here. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items left to go. Cool. Uh, next time, we'll keep on trying to unlock that cat-related item. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.